How's it going, everybody? I'm going to be showing you guys how to, uh, let's see here, add uh, some drop down items or delete them from a input field here. So, for instance, if we have A, shows A there, we click the add button, it adds it into our drop down menu. B, just add a bunch here, real quick. So here we got our list there added in, and then when we select it, select, uh, I'll select B for instance, delete that, deletes B out of our uh, drop down menu there, C, D, one thing that is uh, still not working on this, I'm just showing you this so you know what you're going to be getting out of this tutorial, is that if on the last one, it won't delete it because it's out of range there so you do have to select that item there before you can delete it and then it will delete it there but I mean it works for the most part just uh, still working on a few issues but uh, hopefully this will get you farther than where you are it's really simple not a whole lot of code all this code here will be posted up on my blog I'll post the link in the description so you can just copy and paste if you so desire. So, alright, let's get started here. So what I'm going to do is, when you're first starting, you're going to create a UI canvas here. And then you're going to add in, you're going to have a drop down and input field. And then you're going to have two buttons, the add and delete button. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go to UI drop down here. And then we're going to change the width and height of that to be matching for us here. So 860 by 180. So I'll do that. I'm just doing it this way so that I'm not messing up on my videos half the time here. All right. And then let's reposition that like minus 120 there okay and then we'll uh, add an input field I guess we want this text to be a little bit bigger here too so we'll go down to the label there change our font size to 100 okay and then our input field move that up a little bit there uh, and that was 860 by 180. Okay, we'll move this over here. Okay, and then we will, let's see here, change this to 100 there. So that pops up so you know that that's an input field. All right, next up we will add in a couple buttons just copy and paste that there and then we'll reposition this button this will be our add button so we'll have it up here I'm just gonna rename this so add and delete so I'll move this guy over here and then I'm just going to resize it here, width and height, 360 by 180. And then I will increase the font size there. Change this to add. And same thing with the delete. 360 by 180, increase the font size by to 100 there, change this to delete, Oop. and let's see here, just make it 520, just to make it flush with each other, and let's see here. Make sure our input fields 
same as that, you get 215. I like even numbers. Alright. So next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna create a script. I have a script folder here. We're using C sharp. We'll call it drop down menu two here. Open that up and then See if it opens up here. There it goes. Then, if you want, you can just copy and paste from my site here. Make sure your uh, class name is the same as whatever you called the script. Then you two. That'll be right up here. Um, save that so what this does I'll just run through it real quick I mean it's commented pretty heavily but I'll just go through it a minute uh, so this text drop down text uh, so this will be what we'll be adding from the input field so if we go to our inspector here and click on our script so here we can see drop down text, text none. So we'll go to our input field here. We're going to drag this text marker or this text object. Or, uh, wait, no, that's not right. We need to add a this drop down controller type deal, which is an empty. So you can have that in or out of that canvas, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do drop down controller 2 there. And then we will add this script to this empty object here. You can either put it in here or here. So now we can drag this uh, text over into here from the input field. Okay. And so the index, index will be located of the item we selected. Uh, it's private to avoid deleting the wrong item. And I'll explain that a little bit later. So uh, the public drop down drop. So this gives us access to the drop down menu features and the scripts. So we're just literally just going to take this entire drop down field and drag it into the that spot there okay and then what we can do after this is so we have a couple functions in here we have this add it function which will be adding in our text from the drop down or from the uh, input field I should rename that to input text but you guys know what I'm talking about I hope if you don't, I will, I will change that on the. I will actually change that on my blog here for you guys, so it's a little bit makes a little bit more sense. Um, and so yeah, drop dot options dot add, and then you're gonna in parentheses new drop down dot options, and that's a function. So you do a close parentheses there. And then the curly braces, so this is actually, so you do text equals drop down text dot text. And in, in these uh, drop down items, you can actually add images. And I haven't really messed around with that yet, but what you would do here, just for your information, is you'd put a comma, put image, and then equals, and then you'd have either some uh, file location or to an image or something like that. I really haven't messed around with it though, so. Um, so then you, will, after that, we're just gonna refresh the value, which refreshes the drop down menu. So let's go ahead and do that. Add this to our button here. So you go to your button, the add button, go down to on click, press the little plus sign, and then you're going to drag this drop down controller into that uh, on click 
area and then we're going to select our function go down to the class here and select what we want so add it since this is our add button and then we'll do the same thing for the delete button go to our plus sign there add in our empty object that has the script attached to it go down to our class and delete it there okay so the next thing is so we have this class or not class sorry uh, this function uh, public void set index int var index and then so I said I was gonna explain this later right so what this is is you have in the drop down uh, object here if you go down you have this on value changed int 32 there so that's basically what this uh, function is that I'm using so you're gonna add in your uh, hit the plus sign on that drop in your controller and then you're gonna go down to the menu and you're gonna select dynamic int so what this does is when you select an option here oh man I need to change that real quick so I'm just gonna press one so if you select B that's gonna be index 2 and so what I'm doing there every time it select every time you select something new so like if, when I selected B this function passes in that index value so it'll pass in it's a zero based index so it'll pass in one because so option A would be zero option B is one option C is two so when I selected option B it passed in that value of one and so then I change our index value up here this private index <coughs> field here to be equal to whatever that uh, option B index value is and so then that will give us access to uh, this delete feature here which I'll show you here so when I delete that it deletes it um, let me uh, increase the size of this a minute for you guys. So what you do, go down to your drop down, and then I believe it's, oh, where is that? I think it's, it's viewport. No. Sorry, I will figure this out really quick. How would I do that in here? Ah. Change this to a larger value, the template feature there, and then ah, scroll bar. Change that to be wider. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if that fixes that. No. Okay. So content. Yeah, there we go. Viewport content. One fifty. Save that. Okay. Increase our viewport. And then content item, content item. Okay, we'll increase that size of that. Okay, got those a little bigger there. Now we just need to increase the font size for that. Let's see here. That was should be item item label. There we go. A lot of little things that you gotta change in there to make it right. So hopefully by showing you guys that you can change it up 
There we go. Okay. Wow. A lot of little things you gotta change in there to resize the uh, drop down menu. So, I guess if you're struggling with that, hopefully that helped you guys out. Alright. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, when you delete it, <clears throat> we have this drop options remove at, which is uh, remove at is an index finder function. So it removes the element at the specific index of the list. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is not doing very well right now. And then, so we select that index of the one we selected, and then we'll it deletes it or it removes it at that index there. So basically, um, so yeah, now you can just add in oh. Let me change that to a minute. So when we type in to our input field, our text needs to be increased as well. Otherwise, it's very tiny. All right, a lot of little things you got to change in here to make it look right. So. We got option A, B, and C. We'll add in ASDF here. There it goes. And then we can delete option C. So, yeah, there's a lot of, it's a little complicated, but, uh, you know, just a lot of things you gotta be aware of when you're doing this. So, uh, yeah, I hope that, uh, Helps you guys out. Um, I was definitely struggling with this at first, so <laughs> took me a couple days to figure this out. Um, but hopefully that helps you guys out, and I'll be posting the link for this code on my blog. So if you just want to copy and paste that, you will be more than welcome to do that for free. So. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if that helps you. Thanks.